Hey everyone, Greg Scott Bailey here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, yes, I'm on YouTube as well. Uh, the reason I say that is because normally I'm on Twitch every night from midnight till whenever I pass out. And uh, that's Pacific time? Yeah, specifically Pacific. <laughs> um, Alright, so bad jokes uh, are gonna come, just fair warning. Now, what am I doing here? Well, uh, Seven Days to Die is a real fun game, and one of the challenges that some folks have been doing is the Dijon Tower Challenge. I initially saw Glock9 here on YouTube do the Dijon Tower Challenge, and then so I took it over to Twitch and did it live for, uh, I think, three or four attempts. Um, we, we did Alpha 17.1, I want to say, and then by 17.3, 17.4, they actually took the uh, meats out of the vending machine, a couple other things, and they limited the vending machine. So what we did is in those parameters we set so we could go out every night after Horde Night, uh, so day 8, day 15, things like that. Um, honestly, I think that game was a little too easy to beat because we did get to the gyrocopter and we did fly it off the roof. Um, with me getting to go out after every Horde Night, it was easy for me to get an engine, um, eventually build the mini bike, motorcycle, have fast tra transportation, get around Navis Gain real quick to get what I needed and come back to the tower. So, uh, this time around, what we're going to do is this. Uh, loot percentage is going to be 200%, and loot respawn is going to be every 15 days. However, we have the first day and first day only to get supplies, and that's it. We can't leave the tower unless we make, uh, unless we die. <laughs> permadeath or we uh, build that gyrocopter again we fly off the roof now i have a kind of a story pretext kind of thing going on here i don't know what to really call it but you'll see it this is just the intro video i'm actually going to turn off the camera and just do audio throughout the whole series uh, but uh, there's going to be a couple parts where I actually clip in some uh, some pre-recorded content, so I, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to do that, and it's going to be real fun. Uh, that's the fun of doing YouTube versus Twitch in this context, is you get to do some, some edited content where you can splice some things together, make a story, make a series, things like that. And the counter fun to that with Twitch is, of course, that I get to do it live bring you guys in we could chit chat everything like that so i have all the information down below here and uh anything that you guys want to check out i'm also going to link uh glock 9's channel and joe woodle's channel uh both those folks were uh were doing the uh the dijon tower challenge and uh so we'll uh we'll see what we could do with all of that um i look forward to making this a daily series we're gonna try to drop it every day at least a new uh new chunk of it every day so come along let's join the fun let's take on the dijon tower all right Okay, well, this is actually attempt number two. I'm gonna be honest. I died. <laughs> I uh, I did not make it. Um, I will uh, probably put a a separate video on what happened uh, after this one. Uh, but this is uh, this is attempt number two. Um, I'm you know gonna put my hand up. Uh, what I did realize though with the first attempt is that I did not need to give myself the uh, the uh, the the stone axe. We we start out with a stone axe and a mining helmet uh, as as kind of starting parameters. However, I didn't need it because starting quests are to make a stone axe, and we're out in the world here for the first day until twenty two hundred anyway. So um, it also started me up in the snow biome, and I had never been to the big passing gas station. And what well, you'll see that uh, well, <laughs> you know, well, well, that is part of the outtakes of, uh, <laughs> of what happened here. Um, lessons learned, uh, but I did want to be honest that I actually did fail first attempt. Um, so here's uh, here's to attempt number two. Now, um, I've what I've realized is I do need to get south as soon as possible as well. Like, I didn't even make it this far south. Like I said, I was in the uh, snow biome. Um, so let's gather some wood and stone. Because the initial idea was to go, you know, you roll it back to 4 o'clock. So by 6.05, you can go to the trader. And we're still going to have that in there. That'll be a, a real fun uh, fun treat, I think. Um, 
most of what I'm doing here is me just kind of narrating myself through the, the game. But we'll have a, a fun little fun little thing. I don't know what to call it. You'll see. A <laughs> lot, lot of you'll see moments right now. Okay, I need four stone. That's right. You know, no matter what, I, I can't seem to fully remember all the starting parameters. Like, I think I do, but I don't. Okay, we're by a gore block, so let's go ahead and get a bone out of it. Don't need nitrate right now. I'd like to put that in number three there. Plant fibers. And let's see if we can't find ourselves some starting stuff in this house. Hopefully we're close enough to it that no zombies spawn in it. Poncho's going to be nice. Oh, nope. We got, uh, got somebody already. So if he's here, that means the upper house is going to have zombies as well. That's unfortunate, but, uh, we got to do everything we can not to delay time. I'm not doing that on purpose, honest. <laughs> I have a bit of a squirrel brain when I play. This whole house is falling apart. I'm hoping for not only... Okay, so we got a cookie pot. That's good. That'll be a good start out with. We'll be able to do bacon and eggs with that. I'm hoping for a wrench in uh, one of these maybe in the uh, the bathroom oh wait we did we already we already did the bathroom well poop okay. nice man this whole house just does not want us to be here does it <laughs> all right so hopefully again like I said we'll like uh, we'll get some goodies here it's almost six o'clock already though well poop <laughs> Uh, duct tape's good though. I'll take duct tape. We'll get some cloth. Any more clothes? Nice. Actually, a big fan of the overalls. Oh, but then there's the goth pants too. Schnazzy. Well, if we can find goth boots too. Alright, now if there's any secret hidden stuff in here, I don't got the time for it. Are going to have to get on the road here. Uh, I'm just guessing that the trader's going to be somewhere this way. But uh, let's finish up the quest. I need more wood, so just go to a tree. Probably be good of us to get wood, arrows, stone, all that good stuff. Um, tree seed actually would be nice too. We don't need a lot. We just need one to take to the, the building and go from there. Now, one of my theories is, is that when we do the Dijon Tower, every single time, there's at least one blue spruce seed inside the tower in a trash bag or, or some random loot. It's mostly been trash bags. Uh, I watched uh, Jawoodle get one recently on his video. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it, see if we actually get one in a trash bag this time around. Um, oh, that's right. We actually don't get a seed for that particular tree. So we're going to definitely need to go to uh, a standard spot. Where are we in the world? All right. Let's finish that, the quests here. I think Burning Wasteland Traders this way. 
Here's hoping. Now, I'll be honest, I'm actually ahead of schedule from the the first attempt game by a little bit, so I'm not going to uh, get stuck in a POI. So you actually don't get seeds from that either. Well, that's good to know. I mean, as, as often as I played this game... Oh. As often as I played this game... I haven't played it enough to uh, to keep some of that stuff in mind. Uh, there's always always something new. Okay, so a bow, okay, at least two arrows. Yeah, I like to put the bow in my number two slot starting out. Okay, it's almost 7 a.m. game time. Now, again, the zombies are on difficulty setting of Warrior. Uh, Nomad is the default. This is one notch up above default. Um, let's get rid of stuff. I'm not going to need paint. <laughs> as, as neat as it would be to, to paint stuff. I need to scrap the fire hood. Scrap the club for now. Um, yeah. And actually, we're going to scrap this as well. We need to, need to stay light on our feet. Now, there's forest there, but that means going north. I heard a vulture. We're going to keep an eye out for him. Or in here. We need to get some stone, though. Start making some more arrows. Okay, let's finish our starter quest here. One, two, three. Oops. Take it to completion, Greg. Take it to completion. All right. Okay. Some more stone here. Campfire. Whoops, not can. Campfire. Camp. Charlie, Alpha, Mike. Alright, so where... Oh, we gotta place the campfire. <laughs> Nearest trader is taking us to is there? Really? That takes us north. That takes us away from uh... Hmm. Oh, because I think I know where we are. Alright, so 8 a.m. is not too bad. We'll get to the trader by 9 a.m. And we'll then try to get on the road by 10 a.m. That'll give us 12 in-game hours, right? Alright, let's go ahead and get a pine seed as well as some wood here. Vultures actually come after us, or are they just gonna keep being jerks? I'm taking the risk that they're not gonna die bomb me, but 
they seem to do it when you're you're occupied in inventory or uh, doing something else Staying long enough for the seed. And. Kaboom. Almost sounded like I hit the bird. <laughs> There's a wolf in there. get some meats we can get a good start but again that makes us more encumbered again <laughs> all right we'll get into the trader and we'll try to decide what exactly we're going to do here because we can't take everything um So made it by 10 a.m. and not 9 a.m. Uh, so this seems to be the uh, difficulty about starting this challenge. I got just the thing for what's ailing. It is running out of time. Um, we're not gonna be able to buy anything though. Wow, oh, oh, magazine and center would be so wonderful right now. Imagine starting off with that. Okay. All else fails, we get at least a couple things. Um, Y'all come back now. Now, excuse me, sir. We're. I, I I'd like to stay in Navis Gain. I would. I really would. But I I gotta get out of here. What what can you do for me? Well, darn tootin'. We could use some good people around here. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, most folks have been talking about the Dijon Towers out in the desert. That's uh, about south of here a little ways. Uh, the soonest rescue I heard was tonight at uh, 10 p.m., but if you can't make it, they're supposed to be bringing a helicopter back to pick people up again to get us out of here. Uh, like I said, I hate to lose you, but uh, that seems to be the best bet. So you get yourself down there and uh, don't leave the tower because you never know when that rescue is going to come. All right, Survivor, you have a good one. Really? Wow. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, mister. I appreciate it. Um, we'll, <laughs> we'll run out of daylight. So yeah, let's go. Thanks again. And best of luck to you and your, uh, your fort here and, and all of its fun stuff. Let's grab, uh, yeah, that, that, that's my, my cheesy attempt at acting in this situation, but <laughs> like I said, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Okay. So let's get rid of uh, we're going to have plenty of polymers when we get there. I'm pretty confident with that. Uh, plant fibers, we're going to have more when we get there. Uh, confident about that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one more pack meal so I can do carry what I got. So we need to get south and as much as I would love, 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 ah, oh boy. So here's, here's a tricky situation too. We're running out of time, right? Bob's boars is up here. And it would be really great to start off with a whole bunch of meats. Now we're halfway through to another level 
it would be handy to put a point into Huntsman. I didn't even think about that. Okay, we got an engine. All right, all we need is a battery now too. Um, gosh darn. I'll be honest, I completely forgot about the whole um, having this time to strip cars down too. Dag nabbit. Adventure. I don't believe it. Engine and a battery. We've got it. Okay. So, um, we're coming up on 12 noon. We are going to do just the, uh, the bottom part of Bob's Spores, And we are going to haul ass if we can make it in time to Dijon Tower. We're going to have to run through the desert. It's going to say that we're overheated. But, uh. We're still going to do what we can here. Um, yeah. I just, I can't, I can't be carrying all this stuff. Um, you know, we'll scrap that. We're going to find plenty of, we can wear that battery. Okay. You know, we don't need a land claim block. Okay. So the only encumbrance now that we're going to have is all the, the meats that we get from, uh, oh wait, no, we already got meats, bones, and uh, fats. I don't know if this is going to be a close call or what, but we're going to, we're going to do it. Is that a bear? That is a bear and we have nothing to fight a bear with. <laughs> oh my God. Haul ass, buddy. Haul ass. <laughs> we are stopping for nothing. I am sorry, crack a book. I'm sorry, cars that are lootable. Wow. Okay, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the bear's still back there. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. I. Gosh. I would really love to get into crack a book. Uh, more so, I would love to get into like pop-in pills, though. To be honest, uh, working stiff tools. This, this is this is the rough trade-off here. Is you you really have to avoid all of these these desired. Uh, you you know where things are if you've done Navis gain. You know where you can get tools. I I still need a wrench, but we don't need the wrench for stripping down cars for a battery or uh, engine because we actually looted. A battery in an engine. Uh, so, um, yeah, there it is right there. Okay. So, the back entrance of Bob's Spores over there. It is now 12 noon. And again, airdrops are off. Um, you know, they wouldn't come day one anyways, but uh, airdrops are off. So, and some of these boars sometimes are behind the cage and we can't get to them. We're not going to bother with Grace. Um. Oh boy. Right in front of his brethren. Oh, come on now. <laughs> See, this is the, the downside of this. Oh, we can't get to him. We are running out of time, too. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Do we have... Yes, we have stone to repair. This is this is it. This is the downside of, of Bob's Boars, is you have to be able to get to them to... Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh I didn't I've never seen this before. How much is this? Damn it. Holy shit. I hear 
zombies coming down too. That's not good. Trying to get what we can. I don't think I've ever aggroed zombies down in the basement before. So this is, uh... <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Okay. That's going to have to be it. But I think we got a good start. Oh, maybe close. Shoes, nice. Every little bit helps. And hi, Bob. Sorry about your boars. Okay. It is now 1322. We have till 2200 to get south. I, what sucks is there's the, you know, there's more boars, at least a couple more over there, but we've got to do it. We've got to, uh, we've got to get to Dijon Tower. Never fails. I gotta stop for cars. You can get some good stuff in cars, and sometimes you can't. It's just I don't know. I I I feel like I feel like I can make it. I, I haven't really clocked myself running before. Purple die, right? No, blue die. Blue die. Well, like I said before, watching Joe Woodle do this, uh, uh, do a lot of his videos, I should say. It's uh. <laughs> I'm always looking out for purple dye, but that's actually uh, something that's uh, modded in for for him. He he got to he got to be able to have that. Now, see, technically, my favorite color is blue anyway, so we should continue to be grateful for for that. Um, now, if if I could think about where I'm at. I'm going to need to go south by southeast at this point. But something like a Shame Wave Factory or Shotgun Messiah Factory, those would be kind of neat. All else fails, it'd be neat to try, right? All right, there's the desert. Okay, so here's an interesting situation now. There's the popping pills. How much of this could we loot? Um, damn it. It's 1530. We, we could, we're decently going to get to, I think the tower, uh, I don't know. This is rough. Because, yeah, if we could get, like, beakers and... We got no points available. I was going to say we could kick something into Lucky Looter. How long will it take to bust in? I think there's some people on the roof. And usually they drop when I'm doing this. Oh, what am I doing? 
There it is, right there. Yeah, I was like, usually you hear them, hear them fall off the roof. And bingo. Okay, there's a level up. We can put one point into Lucky Looter. And if we're lucky, they'll make an entryway for us. Yep. Shame on us. Okay, sixteen hundred. We have six in-game hours. We're farting around with these guys. Okay, let's put that one point into Lucky Looter, which is. Perception. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if it actually helps. We're not going to fight zombies if we don't have to. We're just going to loot. I know at least one zombie is coming toward us. Steroids. Oh, even better. Maybe I should have took him when I was running, but there's a good chance we're going to find another one. Everybody's coming for us. Yep, there's another steroids. Another one. We want them beakers, though. Okay, here's the big row. Takes forever. There we go, we got a beaker. Another beaker. All right. Oh, we got a lot of folks here. More in the back. Okay. Seventeen hundred. We should we should run at eighteen hundred. We should just get the F out of here by then. Due to them, meanies. 
It's a dangerous thing to do. I said, don't go up there and destroy my box. All right. 1800 we're taking off so we got that one more box to get so let's try to bring everybody outside right uh, we are thirsty it's probably also due to the steroids Scrap. we just want that one more box you know to be honest i'm gonna make some better arrowheads later Not everybody's out. Damn it. <laughs> the crawler. Okay. Nitrate. Gosh darn it. Well, I was hoping for. Come on, Ranch. A lot, of, a lot of zombies. It's been real, guys. <laughs> All right. So this is this is partially what I was really hoping for is uh, well, not only hey forged iron, and not only some excitement, you know, some some attempts to uh, see. Okay, we got four minutes, four real life minutes. Uh, okay, we're gonna skip everything else as much as possible here. Uh, but yes, uh, we we got two beakers, which means we'll eventually be able to do a chemistry station. Hot damn. We're getting all the meats today. Uh oh. Not if uh, now he's, now he's able to kill us, though. <laughs> We're at 37 health. I mean. And we got no first aid bandages. Oh, yes. Hello, Greg. You just, uh, <laughs> just looted a poppin' pills. Of course you have bandages. Good grief. So this is the fun thing about playing with me. If, uh. If you guys ever get a chance is that I'm a space cadet <laughs> and I tell people all else fails learn from me learn from my mistakes okay 1900 we still got we still gotta get southeast though um, yeah I don't need crossbow bolts good chunk of that we're gonna be able to make later Again, it's just, it, it's super cool if you can get stuff in advance. But it's not if it's at the expense of not making it to Dishon Tower by 2200. And there it is. That's where we're going. That's our, that's our, our ticket to getting out of here. <laughs> we don't know when they're coming to rescue us, but... <laughs> So I keep playing along with the uh, the story, but uh, we, we know what's going to happen. We know. Let's get some yucca as well, right? Oh, wait. No way. Where is he? Um, I need to drop some out. We don't need two blood draw kits. Um... I want him closer so I can skin him without. OK. 
Okay. Damn it. Uh, used up my space for Yucca. Um, there we go. Oh boy. We stop for nothing right now. Except for when we run out of stamina. <laughs> One game hour left. And it's just over the hill. Taking the chance. This could be a stupid move. But like I said, I want to enter this tower with as much stuff as possible to make this happen. And we'll take a look at how many meats we have once we get in there. But this makes me really happy. Whew. I don't know what I was worried about. <laughs> I'll uh, probably review the, uh, the footage again. Um, of course, uh, see how long it took me to go from like popping pills and just so I can get an idea here. We, we've got 44 minutes, 43. Okay, enough to uh, scavenge. We don't need bullet casings. Here we go, Dijon Tower. Oh shit. We forgot of course that when it is night, zombies run. And we are now inside the Dijon Tower. That's great and all. But now zombies can run. I have one arrow left. Um but I have a nine millimeter. do what we can not to wake up any more zombies though and not miss our shots all right well we made it that's the good news bad news is we've aggroed a lot of zombies <laughs> so now we gotta do what we can to uh, try to survive this. And there's more over there. God, there's gonna be some in the bathroom. Okay, so then we wanna go this way then.
forgot I had a mining helmet on so I could show you guys what's going on. Yay us. That's it. Now we've got to do some, uh, some fun stuff. Fastest one, I think, is the hoodie guy. Oh, that doesn't work either. much time for catching up on stamina even take stamina to jump did I grab steel arrows um, I'll be able to find that out when and if So that happened. <laughs> Completely. I always forget about it. I always forget that that happens. Hopefully it took a few of them out. Yes, we got steel arrows. Okay, back to bow. Holy cow, did did they actually take out a lot of their guys? Okay. No way. It's either that or they lost track of me. Alright. That doesn't sound like it. I gotta make the storage chest. What? Whew. Out of stamina. Every time I jump, I use stamina. And we're encumbered. Oh, because the steroids are out. And I've got... I don't have them in hotkey. This might be it. This might be it. I can't get... Got a steroid addiction. Where are they? Okay. <laughs> Just not doing good with aim tonight. <laughs> hey, get this up. Damn it. <laughs> oh, and I missed it again. man standing hot damn okay 
a little extended episode for the very first episode uh, we 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 already went through some uh some interesting moments is what i'll call them but uh we made it to dijon tower we still got more stuff in the lobby here hack up one arrow if i can get it but uh we're going to have to see how we all we fare with day two <laughs> in uh the uh, the next episode i'm going to go ahead and close it up here i'm going to stop actually crashing down on the ground and waking up any other zombies we're gonna sit here so and there's another arrow we get two one stone or no they're all steel right steel <laughs> okay so i'm prolonging this a little bit longer but that's because uh we just i did not expect it to have that kind of shenanigans that was pretty cool um i did not expect um uh, to be able to find an engine and a battery without a wrench uh, because i'm pretty certain uh the first run through of the building here we're gonna find a wrench pretty easily and you know but the counteractive situation there is that we are not able to go outside and rent cars we are now inside the building this is it this is our home until we get uh, either airlifted out by um the you know the helicopter that's supposed to come rescue us or we build our own so thanks again for uh stopping by for the uh first episode of this dijon tower challenge 